Hi, welcome to Rocket Realty Radio Show. My name is Pugal. I'm a professional and an experienced real estate agent serving the Dallas Fort Worth area. In today's show, we are going to talk about the monthly market update for June of 2020. Okay. Now, on each Friday, I host this show live at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. You can join me on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. So let's get started. This in North Texas, you know, in the month of June, the number of homes sold was 11,006 homes. That is an increase of 6.8%. The number of new listings, new listings means uh, the sellers who brought their home to the market was 13,044. That is a decrease of 10.5% when compared with last year. When you look at the average sale price in North Texas, it was $341,492. That is an increase of 1.7%. Now, North Texas is a very broader market. It covers a household of close to 4 million homes. And therefore, it is a good gauge of what specifically is happening within the North Texas market. Okay. Now, let me try to give you an interpretation of these numbers. You know, what do they mean if you are a buyer? What do they mean if you are a seller? There is an imbalance because there are more buyers on the market than the number of homes that are available for sale. Okay. So when you're a buyer, it means you have less inventory of homes to select from. You know, I've been working with a number of buyers who are specifically looking at a certain subdivision or certain city. They have been looking, looking and cannot find anything. And when a good home comes to the market in that location, there are multiple buyers who enter into the market. And what happens is the price goes up. Okay. So that is a point of view from a buyer, a buyer perspective. So what you need is to make sure you work with a very due diligent agent who is responsive and who can guide you through the process where the inventory is tight. If you are a, buy, a seller in this particular market, there is demand, which means you can price the product uh, the home appropriately so that it moves quicker, faster, and you have multiple offers. So you need to make sure you work with an agent who can price based on the market at your subdivision and then the ability to market that home. So that is what you need to do if you are a seller. It is not that simple because market in a housing market has two different segments that I see from my point of view. Now, homes that are priced under 400,000 and homes that are priced above 400,000. So there are two distinct markets that I see in terms of housing. I put red color under 400K because it is super hot. There are a number of buyers who wanted to buy under 400K. Why is it? What I'm seeing in the market are three key reasons. Number one, is a number of people who are living in an apartment, they want to move into a single family residential property. Okay, they are looking for a starter home. The second reason are people who are planning to buy 500, 600,000 because of COVID-19, they are saying, why should I lock up the money, buy a bigger home, let me go for a smaller home. So they are looking at the sub $400,000 range. The third trend that I'm looking is a lot of people from Northeast and Midwest and also West Coast, they are moving into Dallas because of, of the migration, job opportunity, and even COVID-19. And when they are coming, they are saying, hey, I, I, even though I have the capacity to buy $800,000, $900,000 home, I don't know the area. So let me start with a starter home. And then once things clear up, I'm going to upgrade to a bigger home. So these are three factors that is driving the demand for under $400,000 range. What about 
homes that are priced above 400,000, there is still demand, but there, there is softness. It is not as hot as homes that are under 400K. Now let's look at Collin County. Collin County includes Frisco, Plano, McKinney, Allen, Salina, and Prosper, a few of the cities that I do business with. In Collin County, the number of homes that were sold was 1,689 homes. That is an increase of 2.7% when compared with last year. When you look at the number of new homes that came to the market, it was 1,978, but that is a decrease of 13.8% when compared with last year. So you have more homes getting sold, but the number of homes that is coming into the market when compared with last year was down, right? Therefore, there is an imbalance. When you look at the average sale price of a home, in Collin County was 404,767,000. That is a nominal increase of one tenth of a percent. Now let's look at Dallas. In Dallas, I do business primarily in Coppell, Irving, Farmers Branch, and Highland Park. So the number of homes that got sold in Collin County was 1,000. 932 home that is a decrease of half a percent when compared with last year so the market is kind of soft in dallas county when you look at the number of new listings the number of homes that came to the market was 2445 that is a decrease of 14.5 percent the average sale price of a home in dallas county was 411 thousand one hundred and eighty nine dollars that is an increase of 0.4 percent when compared with last year now let's look at denton county you know denton county i do a lot of business uh, primarily in uh, louisville highland village argyle and uh, flower mound so when you look at the number of homes that got sold in denton county was 1597 homes that is an increase of 10.4% when compared with June of 2019. When you look at the number of new listings that came to the market was 1,878 homes. That is a decrease of 7.1%. And the average sale price of a home was $374,711. That is an increase of 2.7%. So you have higher demand, lower supply, what happens? The price goes up. Now let's look at Tarrant County. In Tarrant County, I primarily do business in Keller, Haslett, uh, some parts of north of Fort Worth, Bedford and Euless, Colleyville and South Lake. Now let's look at the number of homes that got sold in Tarrant County. That was 2,562 home. That is a decrease of 0.5%. When you look at the number of new homes that came to the market, it was 2,978 home. That is a decrease of 12.9%. When you look at the average sale price of a home in Tarrant County was $314,948. And that is an increase of 2.5%. So folks, the market is, is opening up. Uh, there is less inventory supply, which is the less number of sellers wanting to put their home in the market, and the demand is high. So therefore, you are seeing a pricing pressure. You know, one of my clients asked me a question, you know, they are looking at a home in, in a particular city. They asked me, why aren't there many homes for sale? Okay, They have been looking at the market almost like, for five weeks and um, <clears throat> so one of the reason why the number of homes in the market is less because sellers are not motivated to sell the homes why because of COVID-19 the Congress passed a law called CARES Act in CARES Act as seller if they have some hardship with employment they can do what is called mortgage forbearance Mortgage forbearance allows a homeowner not to pay the mortgage for literally one year. 
and they don't have to provide a reason to the lender as to why they are doing mortgage forbearance. So when the situation changes and you don't have to pay the mortgage for one year and the lender cannot foreclose the property, so there is more less incentive for sellers to put their home on the market, especially given COVID-19, what are they going to do? So they are staying and trying to ride this COVID-19 wave and therefore there is less homes in the market. Therefore the sellers are not putting homes on the market. Folks, I have given this monthly market update at four county level, Collin County, Dallas County, Denton County and Tarrant County because that's what I do business with. I and my team have access to data not only at a county level but also at a city level and a subdivision level. So we have a lot of data insight. So if you are a buyer, now we can guide you through this process and help you negotiate a great home for you. If you are a seller, we can use the data insight to ensure we price your home right way and then market your home so that it moves less time in the market. I do this uh, video uh, radio show every week on Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. If you like my video, please like me on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash rocket reality TX. And if you are following this video on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash C forward slash rocket reality TX. Thanks for watching.